So, as I said, there's a few different ways to get a guillotine. Maybe the guy shoots, you get caught in a guillotine, right? Or maybe just from standing, you snap the guy down, you come in a guillotine, right? There you go. Because of these, guillotine is not so common in the kimono. Because, like, as I'm trying to guillotine him, maybe my, my hand gets caught up in this claw here, or maybe it's caught up in this claw over here, which would be more of like a loop choke, you know what I mean? Guillotine is way more common than no gi. That being said, how do you defend a guillotine choke? Um, <clears throat> If a guy puts you in a guillotine, you want to hold the wrist, this is more the self-defense style, hold the wrist, go over the back, and put your body on the other side. My head's on this side, my bum is on this side, right? And here, here, pull out, guillotine me. See? You can't do shit. Then you walk behind him, and you tap his knee. See? And then you say, listen, Uncle Rudolph, we've all had a few too many sangrias, just calm down. That's more the self-defense style of, uh, Guillotine defense, right? In a tournament, if someone puts you in a guillotine, like so, and you begin to defend, like so, right, they're probably going to pull guard, right? So what should you do at this point? You definitely don't want them to get guard. So when he begins to sit, put your hands on his knees, and then run to the side where your head is not on. Don't run, yeah, he. You see what I mean? And then if he's still here, do the von flute choke. Put your hands together and squeeze. See? Ah, ah. All right? So the self-defense style, here and here, to the side, tap, put him down, right? In a tournament, you know, if they are guilty. It's like this. Once the guy realizes he's not going to get you, he's probably going to sit. Do you want to sit down? And then just run to the side, your head is on. If he chooses to keep the guillotine, put your palms together. <laughs> and that's the volunteer. Okay? Yeah. Cool? Yeah.